Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the second episode of Hatage Kimono Michi. Last episode, our protagonist, Animal Mask, had gotten isekai into this fantasy world. Didn't go quite how anybody probably expected. Definitely not the princess got a bit more than she bargained for there. Uh, she just didn't account for, she just didn't account for having an animal lover be the hero. That was the only real mistake. But it was a crucial mistake, nonetheless. So, he, after he left, he started to build up a party. He's got a cute animal girl, Shigure, who's kind of a, uh, you know, she's, you know how she is. But he also already has his faithful dog, Hiroyuki, who he got to bring with him for reasons. And we got one more at the very end, the, the giant ant thing, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what it will contribute to the party, but maybe we'll learn more about that this episode. You know, I expect we'll learn more about various things this episode, so... Let's just get into it and see what that could be. So, three, two, one, play. Off the table, doggy. Sounds legit. I'm not sure this guy is on board of our uh, grand plan. Okay, you need to watch what you say near this man. Well, then hopefully it's sunk in by now. Come on, guys. You're really not helping this world of love and peace we're trying to make. <laughs> uh, just everything that's going on in this room. I'm not feeling a lot of love right now. <laughs> uh, do you not hear them say this stuff, dude? Yeah, that was the plan before. Why should I change just because we went to a fantasy world all of a sudden? Well, you like explaining things apparently, so it's all good. But yeah, when I heard people talk about those things, I thought he would, like, chime in and say, you know, the beats aren't so bad, maybe you should stop with the hate and start, you know, with the love and stuff. Like, I don't know specifically what he would say, but I, I thought he would chime in when he heard people in the room say things like that, but no, apparently, it's just not registering with him at all. And yeah, he sees, clearly has a pretty good gathering of animals, eventually. And I don't think we've seen her yet, have we? I don't think we've seen her either. There are plenty of characters to meet still, that's kind of my point. <laughs> we had Misha and uh, whoever she was with last episode. They look like villains. That's our, you know, rival from before. Is he going to end up in this world somehow as well? <laughs> uh... I'm sure things will get interesting when we do we meet an actual antagonist. Yeah, the girl with the reddish hair seems fairly important. You know, she's like in a group of four with uh, them, so... Apparently her and the blonde girl are going to be part of the party, her main group. So I look forward to meeting both of them. Maybe we'll meet one of them in this episode. Quest X Demon Beast Killer. Of course, just have to have food in a litter box. I think she tries not to. Yeah, but you got a lot of, a lot of work to do for, for that. I'd go to a pet shop that sells cat girls, so... Let me know where you're setting up. <laughs> wow. It sounds like a video game plot. It's like, this is a great idea for a video game. Not really what he's, uh, you know, his priority is, but I guess... We're sort of on the same page, sort of not, but it's all good. <laughs> Whatever this pet shop thing is, it sounds great, so I'll help. 
Yeah, that's a big first, big and important first step. Did I find a good place for cheap? Oh. You gotta use my money for that, really? She really does remind me of Aqua a little bit. With this... <laughs> yes, uh, totally. I was looking down at your eyes. Don't don't be silly. Oh, we'll take it. Demon Beast Killer. He did not kill any demon beasts. That's a very inaccurate title. Well, it doesn't mean he killed them. It's a horrible nickname for him. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wow. May I have to use all that money to repair the shop. You really don't want to make this guy mad. For the for protagonist, he's very prone to violence. Maybe we could go find one where a, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. Who do you think you're talking to? It involves animals, all quests are easy. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't even know really what wrestling is, probably, so. <laughs> uh, it's a freaking lizard, dude. It's not that great. It's not even soft and cuddly. What's... What's the like? Did you just drop in on my conversation? Huh, you got a nice little party, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we if we were paying attention before, we know not to use that word. That's of course one way to get a new nickname. I do quite like the rest of this party. The doggy Hiroyuki made no no hesitation to go for one of them. You just lost him. <laughs> uh, right next to... I was hoping we'd have like a right side by side with the other guy. Yeah. Killing a adorable salamander. Like, that's not okay. Is that not obvious? I'm gonna take that sword and try to sell it. Yeah, whose could it possibly be? I, I have no idea. We couldn't possibly figure it out, so... So we have no choice but to take it for ourselves and sell it, and... It's the right thing to do, really. So that's a salamander. Huh. Not quite what I thought it would look like, but... Pretty cool. Yeah, I don't want to get in, uh, in, its, ba in its way. <laughs> okay. This is a rough... A rough pet to tame. But we'll do it. We did it, rather. Yoshiko was ours. <laughs> uh, okay, that went by quicker than expected. <laughs> Don't call him that! How, why does nobody learn their lesson? Did word not get around? It's just, it's kind of keto, it's kind of wrapped around him. Oh, but with the roof this time, okay. Maybe you should go have fun with the salamander. <laughs> uh, he left an impression, didn't he? <laughs> Can anybody forget that man? Oh, oh no. He has come. <laughs> uh, the trauma's real.
Well, I'm sure if you're doing that, he should appear soon enough. That that whining just bad doggy down. Sit. Oh, here we go. Here's our red girl. And she's got a tail. She's got a tail. She's wiggling back and forth. It's amazing. And she got the horns and everything. Uh, did she call her Ojo-sama? Because that's that's great. Uh, what is this? What is, what is this? What am I expecting to eat here? Orc and meat, goblin meat, troll meat. Uh, what a vomit is thinking about it. Yeah, I don't blame you. I <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily jump out of the window because of it, but I agree. Is that a motivation for leaving home? Wow, so she very much looks like she's in like an enemy bad guy sort of territory here. So is she like an evil demon or something? <laughs> uh... I was kind of daydreaming until I saw the word butts, and that kind of pulled me back. And monkeys. It's a lot of monkeys. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get on their good side. Gotta give them a nice rub here, a good pat here, and it'll all be resolved. And... Oh, an apple! An apple? I thought monkeys like bananas. You should know that. But maybe an apple is uh, a secret weapon of sorts. Maybe he's trying to open up a whole new world for them. That monkeys that have only experienced bananas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got a lot of apples. Apparently that's why we had a big bag. Yeah, why do you keep underestimating him? There's no animal. Oh, wow. Uh, lucky you, I guess. <laughs> uh, please hiss more. Yeah, we are. We're well on our way to having a good pet shop. Oh, who is she? I love her outfit. It looks kind of like she's falling, but... <laughs> so it was a weird harem, but, you know, each their own. Well, I am now. Thanks for waking me up. <laughs> but those are very different than my dreams. I mean, they're similar in some ways, but very different in the important ways. Like, the fact that she wasn't a part of that dream is very telling. It has to be pretty brave. Turtle, it's got spikes on its shell, it's so cool. I want a turtle with spikes on its shell. A big quest. Oh. Well, orcs are an animal, so we can't deal with them the usual way. I mean, we could eat their meat, I guess, but that doesn't help in defeating them. Well, yeah, they're not animals. <laughs> yeah, that should be obvious. I mean, yeah, they're more or less human. Why do you like orcs? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's her priority. Must be a difficult quest then. I guess we'll just be wrestling some orcs. Yeah, he is uh, the legendary something, so. Yeah, she ran away, just like I thought. So, uh... So yeah, okay, now I know how she fits into this. 
That's why she's with her in the in the one bit in the opening. So they'll join the group and it'll be glorious. Yeah, makes sense. We should find a good place to camp if we can. Why did you have to say that? Well, it's harder because he can't work his magic on them. Indeed. Nobody can mis misinterpret a good belly rub. Okay. Okay. Of course, he would have no interest in watching this. It's just having enough fur. No, that's of course not what he's looking at. I know him well enough to know that's not his focus. He probably found a squirrel or something. Oh, wow, it's a unicorn. Okay, I'll admit that's pretty cool, but still not where my focus would be. <laughs> I wonder how Shigura feels about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured. There's no pleasing people like you. Get mad if he looks, mad if he doesn't. Yeah, this definitely looks like an orc village. Like, like, it very much looks like an orc village. To the point where if I didn't see orcs, then I would still assume it was an orc village. So, how is this gonna go? I guess we'll just find the leader and German suplex him. <clears throat> I'm here to fight! Take me to your leader so I can punch him. <laughs> That's not actually a microphone, dude. You might as well be just talking into your hand. Uh, is he the leader? Oh! Apparently not! <laughs> I guess somebody wishes he was a leader. Oof, he's a... Uh, he's a big one. He's not just any ordinary human. Yeah, I got a problem with that. Well, it's got to, something to do with me, because I'm going to be paid to fix the problem. Oof, oh! <laughs> Excellent first strike! And boom! Wow, that was some pretty good animation there. Yeah, and by gong him in your face. <laughs> uh, yeah, already bleeding. Apparently orcs have red blood. I guess they are somewhat human-ish. Remember it's... Well, we came here with the assumption that would be the case, I'm sure. Oof. Oh! He took that like a champ, though. I think we may have the advantage here in a 1v1. <laughs> it was alright, but definitely not do as much as your dropkick did. Your worst nightmare. And that as well, ooh. Right to the neck. <laughs> uh, this is a great fight already. Ooh. Okay, that looked like it did a bit more. <laughs> I think we're just exchanging blows one by one like it's a turn-based fight. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure it will end with a German suplex. <laughs> I'll probably gain some respect from the orcs after this fight. Oh, slap. That was a slap. So he had enough yet? He started to back up. He started to get a bit worried. 
Oof. Oh, I missed. But I didn't. Oh, oof. That was a good move. Oh, we're behind you. And here we go. The German suplex. I knew this was coming. And boom. That should be the end. That should be the end. Cigarette just gets the best seats in the house. I kind of like that pose better when the princess did it, if I'm being honest. Which I usually am in my videos. Yeah, we got a new king. What's there not to understand? He won the fight, gained respect and admiration from the other orcs, and now he leads them. It's pretty, pretty simple. But I guess you already established you're kind of an idiot, so... <laughs> even has to have a bandage for the neck which makes sense so be good you guys Please behave well yeah I didn't actually expect him to stay here and lead that make it a very different show yeah we talked like men you're a woman you wouldn't get it but we talked It was a unicorn, right? Seriously, do you even pay attention to anything, Shigure? I swear. Usually I'm the one that fails to notice things, but I'm a genius compared to this girl. Yep, aren't I amazing? Please bow before me. Well, clearly none of them tried a German suplex, so... <laughs> At least Shigure can learn, I guess. How many people are going to make this mistake? Probably should do that to him, though, because he's kind of important here. Did we? Okay, I guess we did that off screen. So now, so now that we have our store, we won't have to be doing any more quests, right? Well, I guess we still have to do them to get the animals for the store. Twenty percent. I'm I'm sure he can manage that. Is it enough? Okay, apparently it's a bit painful. I assumed as much. What? It's a shop where you sell pets. How is that complicated? There's no way your world doesn't have pet shops. I mean, I guess it might be a little bit different in that regard because you have different animals and animal girls that are amazing. And But surely there'd be shops selling animal, uh, animal girls. That'd be great. And I think she discovers some food she wants. You know. Oddly enough, I spotted something delicious at about the same time. So we didn't actually get to meet up with her this episode, but probably next episode. I mean, she has some money she can give us. She was in a castle, right? So, oh, Joe Slama says she should, have, she should have money. Maybe she could help with our pet shop. In more ways than one, if you know what I mean. But yeah, good episode, definitely. A very unique protagonist. I mean, with Isekai anime, generally you have kind of an idea in your head of what a typical Isekai protagonist is like. And he's, that's not him. Although even saying typical isekai protagonists, there's still like two categories, right? There's the kind that are very surprised and confused by what happened. And then there's the other type that are basically like, wow, I've been isekai'd, awesome. I get cool magic powers and stuff, right? This is great. I know all these tropes, you know. Those are the two types, but still they have a, even among those two types, they still have a very similar personality. And it's not, not what this guy has. He's a very different sort of person. <laughs> With very specific motivations. Yeah, that basically confirms we'll get, a, get more of our red-haired lizard girl. Which is great, so... Anyway, that was the second episode of Hatage Kemonomichi. This episode, we were still fighting for our initial goal, 
well, our our first step of our goal, which is getting the pet shop done, because he has his, because he has his immediate goal, which is to get the pet shop up and running. The second goal is to have peace between the beasts and the humans, which is a bit of a struggle because we have certain comments being said in the the shop, and I want to go over, I want to reread some of those. Because yeah, first you have this red-haired dude that was clearly injured by a demon beast. He's like, damn those demon beasts. They're like, yeah, they really got you, huh? You okay? Yeah, I'll make them pay for this. And yeah, I mean, that's completely reasonable to complain about demon beasts that they are the ones that hurt him. But, you know, then he says the line, demon beasts must be slain. And that's like the text is on screen as you see our hero here. And yet he really doesn't even comment about it. There's no way he didn't hear it. I mean, it's just weird, though, that he couldn't say at least something like a quick, hey, can't slay all demon beasts just because one hurt you or something. That uh, You should get along with them. Like, I spent the to say something about it it's not a big deal really but i just it just i don't know i expected something from the from this from the guy that keeps attacking people from for saying that one nickname you know for him not to say anything there just a little bit weird to me i mean it could just be a case where they're not saying it loud enough for him to hear it's just loud enough for us as the audience to hear that's 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 certainly a possibility and yeah, i'll probably have to take it that way for it to make sense to me but yeah, people just basically just keep talking about killing demon beasts, and he doesn't say anything about it. So yeah, that was the first scene. But yeah, she doesn't really know what a pet shop is or anything, but she knows that it makes money, and that's good enough for her at the end of the day. So after, you know, beating up some people because they keep referring to him as the demon beast killer or whatever, which is which is not even an accurate title. He's never killed the demon beast. He hasn't. He goes up to them, maybe he wrestles with them a little bit, but then gives them pets and they're all tamed afterwards. So if anything, he should be called Demon Beast Tamer or something. So I, I expect the nickname to change. Either that or I expect a lot of people to get hurt. One of the two. So. And I did, it was pretty funny how she picked up the sword and was like, huh, I found a sword here. I guess I'll take it, because I had no idea who it is. So, that was pretty great. But yeah, first big mission we did was the Salamander. It looked pretty cool. He bro he breathed fire, which you would assume, generally. And he was clearly in an environment you would expect him to be in. Deserty, cactusy sort of place. But we got him. We got him all petted, and then had him kind of wrapped around him as he walked back into the guild hall. To get his money, get his prize. It's also where he got his third victim of calling him the, the horrible nickname. And then we went back to what's his face's house, Edgar, so we could pay some of uh, some of uh, almost I almost called it Aqua. Some of uh, Shigure's debt. And a certain wolfie doesn't want to be around him, it seems like. Uh but after that we actually got to see finally the red haired girl that we see in the opening. Who I I'm assuming she's like a lizard, uh demi human lizard girl type character. I do love her character design. I mean, you could say, if you want a criticism, you could say they're overdoing the red a little bit. But, uh, you know, because of the red dress, red hair, red horns. But I like it. I definitely like it. I have no problem with any of that. So I definitely want to get more of her. Having this sort of Ojo-sama character that's also, you know, kind of a demi-human anim animal girl. It's very interesting, and I feel like you could do a lot with that if you wanted to, so... I definitely look forward to getting more of her next episode. Her motivation of leaving because she wants better food is a bit interesting, I guess. I mean, not typically the motivation for an Ojo Sama right away from home, but I'll take it. It's a very unique show in that regard, so, you know, I always appreciate any kind of different takes on things they have here. And then, yeah, the second big thing he did was just get to on the good side of a bunch of monkeys with apples, so. I'm really not sure why the apples in particular, I guess. I don't see why I don't see why monkeys wouldn't like apples. It's just not what you'd associate with as monkeys. Usually it's bananas, but we have the expert here. So yeah, getting that massage from a bunch of monkeys, and he likes to live dangerously. And just that mental image dream of him is basically his harem of animals around him. Just yeah, I don't know what to say to that, but just what I said before, that's not how my dream would go. And I wonder how Shigure would feel if she realized she was being left out in that dream. And then the funny scene of uh, <clears throat> she was bathing in the lake and he just completely ignored her for the unicorn, which is pretty great. 
Which I figured would be the case, you know, he doesn't care about something that looks so human, you know? Like, he does, I'm sure, like, animal girls to an extent, but not, they're lesser than full-fledged animals to him, so. I'm sure if the unicorn wasn't there, he would have watched you, Shigure, if that makes you feel any better. And then we had the epic scene near the end where we battled the ogre leader. We had punching, slapping, German suplexing, punching, kicking. It was, yeah, it was great. Even some good animation here and there. It was, uh, it was a nice fight. And in the end, he won. And just, he won in every possible way. They had a very good discussion. He was able to get enough money for the, uh... The, let's see, he got the barn, right? Yeah, he, he, he talked to this one guy. He says, did you buy a store? He says, yes. With the money from the guild's quest, we were able to get it. It's even got a barn, and we see our aunt, who hasn't done much, really, uh, sweeping. Okay, so, and what he wants now is a loan for funds to pay the government to open a business. Okay, so basically, he has the location, he has the, the physical stuff, but uh, because of, you know, bureaucracy or whatever you'd call it, he needs to pay necessary fees or to actually open up a official business, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to know much about, you know, business type stuff, but I guess that's what it is here. So he needs money for that. He's trying to get a loan for it. But he needs to, he needs to have 20% of it, which he doesn't have, clearly, so... I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that problem. And again, he doesn't know what a pet shop is, because apparently nobody knows what that is. Which is actually a good thing for us, because that means we can have a monopoly if it doesn't exist at all. So that's actually a good thing. So, And then we ended off with our, with our red-haired girl. Red-haired girl. I love how she wags her tail. That, that, that gives me life. She just pressed up against that glass, wanting some of that food and drooling and... Yeah, I'm sure we'll take good care of her once we find her and she can join the party. And I'm sure he'll just offer her some food and she'll be like, yeah, I'll join you if you give me good food like this in the future. And then she'll be part of the group and it'll be great. So I look forward to all that. Thank you for watching and a special thanks to Snoky for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.